this is Mike Williams. I've been running point for Blue Green Alliance here in Doha at COP18. Uh, I just wanted to give you a, just a quick video rundown here uh, as today is my last day here at the COP. Uh, I was here for the first week. I uh, wasn't able to stay for the second week where actually all the action happens. But I wanted to just give a quick breakdown. So we've reached the end of the first week here at COP18. This is generally where the posturing and the stage setting happens, and this one is no different. It's the track built out of the Durban agreements. Um, exactly what we'd think. It's a, uh, it's positive. It's formulaic. Uh, it just started, so they're they're you know setting the table, saying good things about all the great response measures and things along those lines that they're going to be putting into place to mitigate climate change and and eventually you know be set to reach an agreement uh, in 2015 when they're supposed to do that. So that's what's been going on the first week. Probably not too much is going to change there for the second week. The second of the three uh, very important tracks, although there are seven of them, uh, that one has been, uh, I haven't heard too much in terms of things going on negatively, but there's been a lot of extra time being put in from a number of the working groups. Uh, it seems as though they're really trying to hammer out an agreement uh, specifically on targets for a second Kyoto uh, period. The expectation is that uh, something should get worked out by Wednesday or so, and then you know that would be in time for the lawyers to then check it out back in the, in the EU uh, to, to make sure everything they've, they've agreed upon works legally. So there's still an expectation that that should happen, whether all the countries uh, who are in Kyoto come back in uh, remains to be seen. We've already heard from a few who said they won't. Uh, so we'll, we'll be looking intently about that. And, and specifically for the U.S., this is just something we're watching. The third of the three major tracks, the LCA, the Long-Term Cooperative Agreement, uh, that came out of the Bali Accord in 2007, uh, this is uh, where the fireworks have been happening. There's a lot of tough decisions to be made, specifically with where uh, very important issues land uh, at the end of this COP. And what I mean is that because the LCA is supposed to be wrapped up, uh, it was agreed upon in Durban that we're going to end the LCA this, that with this COP. And so there's a number of issues, technology, adaptation. Where do these things go? Where are they addressed when we move forward to next year, the year after, and then finally in, uh, in 2015 when there's an agreement? So what are we going to do with those issues? There's a lot of uh, disagreement, some discord, and there's some, some negativity that's gone on this first week. So this one looks like it will go to the bitter end. First week again is a, truly a table setting week, uh, but I just want to say on behalf of Blue Green, so we were really pleased to be here and to work with our allies from the International Trade Union Confederation, from the Climate Action Network, from AFL, CIO, and some of our, our great BGA partners who were here, in particular the Sierra Club, the Union of Concerned Scientists, and the Natural Resource Defense Council. So it was great to be here with them, great to work with them. Uh, and so they'll all be here throughout the next week, and I look forward to keeping up with them uh, and following these negotiations from 4,000 miles away, home sweet home. Thank you very much.